Hello, my name is Jake Burns, and in this video, I'm gonna be taking you step-by-step -step on how to do a live remote broadcast with remote productions and operations. There's three easy steps, pre-production, production, and post-production. With these three steps, we're gonna be breaking them down more for you in the video, but that's what we're gonna be covering in this video for remote productions and operations. Let's get into it. With pre-production, we have money management and budgeting, location scouting and planning, set design, and scheduling and logistics. With these four things, you can get your pre-production done. So now, let's get more into it. Money management and budgeting is one of the most important things to start with pre-production. When you're allocating your money, you need to make sure that you have all your crew members covered, your equipment, your trucks, your shipping your equipment, and everything you possibly need on set, even your food down to your drinks, even bathrooms. Everything that you need must be able to fit in that budget that you have. And if you can do that properly and understand your budget, that will take you a long way. Number two, location scouting and planning. This is also another important part of what your viewers are gonna see. Yes, money management is one of the most important parts to make sure that the pro, all your stuff works properly, but planning and also scouting a location is also very important. When you scout a location, you're scouting a location on what your viewers are gonna see. So that includes your foreground, your background, and also your set design, and if they mix together. Like our, the best way I can describe it is how are you telling the story? I know it doesn't seem much, but when you sit down and you have this plan out, it really helps having everything all together and how you're going to have the set design down, which is number three, and also like scheduling logistics. That is also another one important because depending on where your places are at, it's gonna be hard if you have something a quarter mile away and you only give them a minute to get there. So when you do scheduling logistics, it really helps with everything and plus planning and permits, it all goes together. And plus telling a story, it makes it visually appealing for the viewers that are back home or even at the stadium watching. Number three, set design. Now that you've allocated your money, you've planned everything, now you have to go to set design. Set design is one of the most important parts for number two. And the reason why this is, is that goes in for lighting, camera work, foreground, background, the setting, even the desk that you're on. This is very important because it really helps with telling the story and also you need to make sure you follow all protocols and regulations that are currently in place. One of the regulations that is in place right now is COVID-19. This is in place for six feet distancing and I'll show you back that blue screen again. You can see how the cameramen are at least six feet apart and everybody is separated out. With COVID regulations, if those are not in place and are proper with set design and planning and following your permits, and everything along those lines, they all kind of go in together. If you don't follow this, no show can happen. So you need to make sure that everything that you can possibly think of with permits or situations that is either federal law, local law, or even things that the stadium likes to have, and even your own things at the company that you're doing, you need to make sure you follow all of these with your set design, your planning, and your allocating of your money to make sure that everything works in together and goes in perfect. Number four, scheduling and logistics. This is a huge part. So let's say that you make all the set design and you get to the stadium and they start to do the, the scheduling and they start doing the logistics of what everything needs to be done. Well, let's say that you have a stadium that's right and you need, you need a platform that's up 30 feet to make sure you get the shot that you want. Well, they need to make sure that it's possible. And if it's not possible, you have to go back to the drawing board to set design. So that is one important part to set design is making sure that you have everything that you need in place. Therefore, logistics and scheduling is very important. Scheduling, I'll show you just some of the people that Fox Sports uses for one of the shows. This is a spreadsheet for the IU and Ohio State football game. As you can see, there's quite a few people that are in this list. Scheduling is a very important part. It helps you show how much time you need to get there before the show actually even happens. So. When you get all these things done, finding out how long the set takes to build, how long it takes to build the cameras, fiber optics, production trucks to set up, the generac to get there to make sure everything is powered properly, to get rehearsals in, your talent rehearsals, just to make sure everything is working properly, you kind of work backwards. So you work from when the day starts and you start adding all this time on and it shows you how far you have to get back. 
Super Bowl might take you a month to get ahead. So you, have to, you might show up there a month ahead of time to make sure that you have all the time you need to make sure all the sets are designed and put up and everything is ready. So, or smaller events like the MLS Cup, it only takes you about a week to get everything set up. Other events like Adrian College Hockey might take you an hour to set up. It just all depends on how much time you need to get everything set up and all, also your scheduling with your workers and what time they need. Now that you're done with pre-production and you have everything set up and everything really planned, scheduled with all the workers and crew and everything that's kind of coming together, we move on to production. And production is really fit into four things. Set days, production, going on air, and strike. Set days are really structures, arts, and operations getting to the location of wherever you're doing the remote production and operations, which includes your buildings, your operating areas, your green rooms, your bathrooms, your forklifts, your scissor lifts, your cranes, everything that you possibly need to make sure that you're ready for all the crews to get on. When you have that all there and you're ready and you have the set build up or like your stage set up, then it becomes tech days. Tech days are when your mobile units come in, that is your production room, your control room, and your playback room. When your uh, generator gets on site to power up every unit, when they connect everything together, it's really when they get all the cables and everything ready to hook up with the camera and also live stream. That is one of the most important things to get on set and that's why setup, like setup days, are really important to an operation. Now that we have everything set up, stage, technical, cameras, electricity, the control room, the production room, the playback room, all the green rooms done for the talents, so everything is ready. And this could take a couple days, depending on how big it is. It could take a week, two weeks, or a smaller production, it could take an hour. But depending on how big your operation is, once that's done, then it becomes into production. Production is more of like kind of technical checks, it's rehearsals, it's mic checks, and they'll do mic levels, they'll do camera checks, they'll make sure all the angles are right if they have to do any last minute adjustments to the cameras. And once they do the cameras, they make sure that the foreground, the background's all clean, make sure it looks good. If they have to paint anything that's possibly damaged from moving, they make sure it's done on this day. And that's usually a day before the actual shoot or going on air. Once that is done, we have the official rehearsals. The talents come in and that can be the day before or the day of. It's usually the day of just to make sure that nothing happens overnight when we're putting stuff away. And that is with going kind of play by play of how the show's gonna go, which is really cool to watch just because you can kind of see the tweaks and, and the twerks between what is actually happening behind the scenes. Now they're done with setup days, production, the best part of the show, the entire time you've worked for, setting up everything, the hard days, weeks, even a month possibly, it's going live on air. So everything that you've rehearsed, everything you've prepped for, it is crunch time and it's the best part where you get to enjoy. It is high pressure, but it, at the same time, it's so enjoyable to watch all the hard work you put in to see this amazing show. A fitting final big night in its history, MLS Cup 2020 between the Columbus crew and the Seattle one. Congratulations, happy holidays, all this good stuff, but we gotta get right to it. You were down two studs, Santos and Darlington Nagby, coming into this game. You guys were the underdog. One of the things that people don't know is that live television has delays. And depending if it's 4K, it might be a longer time delay just because they have to convert it from 4K to 1080p. And most places when they output to like live broadcasting, it is 1080p or 720p. Uh, but depending on that, it is with the delay. And every live broadcast does have a delay. And the reason for that is, is to getting it to the satellite tower or like the, the satellite truck on site. And even if something happens, they can either pause it, they can block it, they can censor it, just to make sure that nothing really goes bad over air. They don't catch it all the time, but that little delay helps a lot. Now that we're off air and everything is kind of wrapping up and we're done, we have one last thing to do on site, and that is called strike. Strike is an industry term for cleaning up everything and shipping it. So it's, it's chaos, but at the same time, it's organized chaos. And that is when you pack up everything possible, you put it, you put labeling stamps on it, and either you ship it out by truck 
or airplane, depending on what the cargo is, how desperate you need it. And usually once strike is over and everything is kind of getting wrapped up, once it goes from one show, it goes right to the next show or it gets distributed to other shows. And this could either take all night long or it could just be up to simply two days. The, show, the, the shows that I've worked on, it's usually right after the show is done. We kind of just stay there. The latest I think I've stayed was the show ended at 11 and we got done at 6.30 a.m. And that was just to clean up the entire show, make sure everything's spick and span. We, you really want to respect the arena that you're at just to make sure that once you're done and you leave, it looks perfect. Now that you've done pre-production, where you've scheduled everything, you've money managed, you made sure all the schedules worked out, the logistics, the set design, and then you went to uh, production where you've set up everything, you've had tech rehearsals, and you've made everything work out, you've went on air, you've had everything work out fine, and then you've cleaned up, which is strike. Now we move on to post-production, which post-production is the list of highlight reels, re-airing, selling some of your highlights, or just being able to uh, use it for hype videos, editing shows, or making them higher quality. And once you have all the post-production done, that's really it. You've successfully put on a great show. And once you put all those in, I mean, it takes a little bit of time, but once you get more into depth, you start to see one of the most important parts of all of this. And you're gonna laugh because it's just called a tech book. So once you get everything all put together and you've made this show, what I just talked about really, other than post-production, is just a tech book. And here's a tech book right here. This tech book really just highlights and outlines what everybody's working on, uh, the set design, the location, everything that we've talked about in this video is in this tech book. And this is pretty much like a holy grail book that you really want to hold on to and make sure that it is perfect. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave any comments down below for any other questions you guys have. And thank you and have a great day.